Oh, hello, hello. Welcome to Dr. Eze CC Health Tips Corner. Today we shall be treating a very interesting topic known as keloids. Keloids are abnormal scar tissues formed around an injury. Okay, uh, when one is injured, usually there is repair, and this is formed by fibrous tissue, which forms scars. However, these scars can grow abnormally and beyond the margin of the wound. These are known as keloids. Uh, keloids are uh, common among dark-skinned individuals. However, it can affect uh, different races. Okay, it can affect male and female equally, and also they are common around over the chest, shoulder, ear lobes, and the cheeks. Uh, the, the commonest cause of uh, ear lobe uh, keloid is ear piercing. Uh, what are the common symptoms of keloids? Keloids commonly uh, are not harmful to the body. They are more of cosmetic concern to the individual. And because of that, uh, you, you can see some areas of abnormal growth beyond the scar margin. They are usually raised and maybe wider than the margin of the injury. Okay, uh, some are red, pink, or maybe fleshy colored. Uh, most times they are itchy to the individual, uh, resulting in repeated itchiness and scratch over the area. Uh, how do you uh, treat or manage keloid? Patients with keloids would require either of the following or any of the following. Uh, they are usually, if the keloid is small and new, fairly new, they will require non-operative or non-surgical options. And this includes uh, the use of silicone pads, silicone gel, pressure dressing, and some injections. And uh, these injections are from some form of uh, corticosteroids. Uh, different uh, variations have been used and combinations. Okay, uh, but when the keloid is big and relatively old, that means uh, it may require some form of surgery. And these include excision or removal of the uh, keloid, use of laser surgery, use of cryo surgery. Okay, the combinations because the recurrence rate is also high even after re uh, uh, removal, and that is why uh, combinations of other options, use of those silicone gel, bad and pressure dressing, even after the surgery or any form of the surgical options, uh, can be used. Prevention, they say, is better than cure. Now you know. Uh, consult your physician for personalized management options. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.